Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Funny Fur Friends. I hope you guys are having an excellent week. Happy Friday. This is when it will come out. So we have that Friday, then you have a whole weekend of catching up on all these videos, on all these funny animals, sorry. Um, but don't forget to go and like and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you can get the, um, that so you can get notified when new videos are out, which are Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. every evening, except Saturday, Sunday. And um, go check out my Patreon. That one I haven't really totally started. It's brand new, but it's all it's gonna be funny, funny, funny videos. And then lastly is my Laughable Moments podcast. So go check those out. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, let's go to video number one. Groundhog steals farmer's crops and eats them right in front of the security camera. <laughs> <coughs> He's really like, look, look what I got, look what I got. Oh my god, <laughs> poor farmer. Oh god. Oh, got your apple. He's really having a good, good old time. That's a big carrot for that guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, another apple. I love this. It's like he knows. He's like, I keep stealing, and I'm going to eat it right in front of you, and I don't care, except maybe that part. No. I don't know what those are, though. Granny Smith apples? I couldn't tell. Oh, those look so good. Nice and juicy, grown apples. Like, we need to grow more things instead of buying fast food. Honestly, like, we should have a, like, a, a garden, a in every city that you go and pick from. So I love all the, the saliva coming out. He's he's enjoying himself, that's for sure. Honestly, for a farmer to... Oh, now there's two. Oh, my God, I didn't realize there's two. So for a farmer just to allow, like, see this all the time and not, you know, like, he doesn't chew it away to never come back unless he does, and then it does come, keeps coming back. But he doesn't seem to mind. It's just like one little fruit there, here and there, and I know it is a lot of work, so I, don't quote me, but it sounds like, it seems like he's, he just allows it, because why not? It's just a piece of fruit or vegetable, but I do understand. They take some time to grow. Okay, on this, to the second one. Okay, on to the second one. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I love it. He's just staring. I've never actually had a, had a cat bang and sit with his owners for food. Like, I haven't seen one. I've seen my boyfriend's cats who love to, or uh, they love to sit on the dining room table and just sit with us while we're there. But he, I've never seen them really, like, um, what would you call it? I've never seen them, like, like beg for food, which is kind of funny. Unless they're begging for their own food. That's a little different. Okay, on to the next one. On to number three. Let's go. Cat tries to steal owner's pizza. <laughs> like, may I? May I? No. I give him a little piece, but no. That's my pizza. But that cat, I don't know how that cat would have grabbed it. Probably with his mouth. But they have tiny mouths. So it's like, how would you grab it or try to steal it? Like, a dog has a big snout, but how would you? How would a cat? Um, let me know if a cat likes human food. Um, as much as these so far, I haven't really seen it. I think, like, Nathan's cat loves, like, the saltiness of some of the chips and stuff, but that's about it. Um, they don't really beg, which is nice. My dog's a whole other level of begging. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, on to the next one. Bear catches bread and waves by. Aw. Oh, just throws the bread. Oh, oh, wow, he did catch it. Aw, must be very happy and pleased that he got his bread. Bye bye. That's <coughs> <coughs> so cute that <coughs> he waves bye. I would love that. Where can I go and do that myself? That sounds like a great time. He's just like having a good old time behind that gate, and it looks so simple to, for a bear to just jump over. I don't know how clumsy a bear actually is, but looks like you could just jump over if you wanted to anyways going on to then and we are halfway through okay let's move on 
Okay, you guys ready for this one? Let's go. When your breakfast gets stolen by monkeys in Mexico, hey, at least it's fruit and it's not the good stuff like a chocolate croissant or eggs or bacon. Think about that. <laughs> if it's just fruit, I don't really care. Like, whatever. Um, there's more where that came from, and I'm sure at those resorts they feed you fruit, so you're fine. I just love it. He's climbing up. Okay, where's the next breakfast at? Is it, is it better than that? The fruit. No, just kidding. Um, that's funny how they do come in, like, like just no care in the world. Like, oh, I see fruit. Your door's open. I'm coming in. I'm going to steal it, and you're going to like that. You're not going to care. Like, literally, that's what, like, they're at. That, that's awesome. Honestly, I would love it. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, hey, take an apple. Or, or a banana or whatever. Okay. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever had a monkey come into your hotel room or resort? Steal, like, breakfast or food? Or any other animal? Like, I hear giraffes that go in, in Africa. They'll go into the hotel rooms to get fed at night. And you could feed them, which is really cool. And I would love to do that. So curious let me know in the comments below okay on to the next one she stole the chicken she stole the chicken oh and she's gonna get on like the cat wheel like no no give that oh she ain't sharing either <laughs> where are you going okay never mind and i think the other cat tries to grab it here and nope you ain't getting that, sir. Not today. It's not a little piece, but it's just too funny. Really wanting that chicken. I've never seen a cat steal human food before. I know. I think we all get the same. Like, we all eat chicken and stuff, but it's just funny to see cats really begging for food from a human. That's awesome. Uh, as long as they're not overwhelmingly begging all the time, like my dogs are. It's pretty funny. Okay, on to, we are on the last two. This is a shorter video, but probably because these are shorter um, animal videos. Okay, let's get on. Let's get going. Okay, we're on our last two. Let's get going here. We were just on vacation, and we woke up to a orangutan in our house. Can't believe it stole our drinks. I love how it's just chilling at the door. And he's like, okay, what can I get here? What can I do? And he does have, like, a little, like, baby on him washing soap with his hands interesting using the soap to wash his hands that'd be kind of cool as long as they don't like have any reason to harm you then that's fine toilet roll took a shit he's going in the bin oh he's in the toilet so is he using the washroom <laughs> he got a bottle of coke Santa. I think he got Sprite, too. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, my God. And whoever's attached to him. That's just hilarious. Just, like, yeah. Okay. We're doing that now. <laughs> I wonder if they'll be hyped up on sugar or have, like, a really bad stomach ache. I don't know if that's even good for a orang orangutan. I get I don't do my research on those animals. Um, I wouldn't even feed it to my dogs. Okay. What did you guys think of that one? Let me know if you had any kind of funny animal just come into your hotel room on your resort and steal something or whatever it is. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And to the last one, here we go. Oh, the cat really wants that, that kubasa. Oh my god, he's really trying. Not succeeding. Poor thing. Aww, really wanted it. <laughs> come on, give it to him. Just give it to him. He's working so hard for it. If only that those shelf things that were blocking it weren't in the way, he'd have it by now. Oh, I would have just given it to him and like, he worked so hard for it. He deserved it. And that is it for me, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Can't wait to, um, can't wait to share more for next week. Have, happy Friday, happy weekend. We'll chat soon. Bye now.